Greetings, fellow explorers of the narrative cosmos. Today we embark on a journey through the satirical universe of John Scalzi's Red Shirts, a novel that cleverly dissects the well-worn tropes of Star Trek, particularly the fate of those often overlooked yet crucial characters clad in red. These characters, traditionally marked for their expendability, serve as the focal point for our exploration. Our mission is to delve deep into the heart of Star Trek episodes, viewing them through the unique lens provided by Red Shirts. We'll unravel the threads of character agency, examine the impact of narrative constraints, and perhaps discover new insights into the stories we thought we knew so well. Before we engage Warp Drive on this intellectual voyage, I urge you, my intrepid companions, to subscribe to the channel. Join me in the comment section below to share your thoughts, theories, and reflections as we navigate the intricate narrative tapestry of Star Trek, guided by the insights of Red Shirts. Before we dive deeper into our analysis, let's orient ourselves with a brief overview of Red Shirts. At its core, John Scalzi's novel is a fascinating journey that turns the spotlight on the unsung heroes of the starship Intrepid, the ensigns who don the infamous Red Shirts. These characters, historically marked for their brief and often tragic roles in science fiction narratives, find themselves facing an unsettling reality. Our protagonist, Ensign Andrew Dahl, quickly notices the alarming mortality rate among his peers during away missions. Alongside his fellow ensigns, Dahl uncovers a startling truth. Their reality seems to be dictated by the whims of a poorly written television show from Earth's past, specifically mirroring the iconic Star Trek series. This revelation sets them on a daring quest not just for survival, but for narrative autonomy. They devise a plan to travel back in time to confront the creators of the show, aiming to alter their own fates by changing the course of the show itself. It's a tale that cleverly intertwines the fates of fictional characters with their real-world counterparts, blurring the lines between creator and creation, and questioning the very nature of narrative destiny. Red Shirts is a metafictional exploration of science fiction storytelling, character agency, and the often overlooked consequences of narrative convenience. With this context in mind, let's proceed to analyze how these themes resonate within the broader Star Trek universe. In the history of Star Trek lore, the trope of the red shirt has become synonymous with expendability. This concept is vividly illustrated in classic episodes like The Changeling from the original series, where the mortality rate of security personnel donned in red is starkly highlighted. These characters, often unnamed, serve as a grim reminder of the dangerous lurking in the unknown corners of the galaxy, their fate seemingly sealed by the color of their uniform. Yet John Scalzi's Red Shirts dares to challenge this narrative convention. By focusing on characters like Ensign Andrew Dahl, Scalzi provides a voice to those traditionally silenced by the script. The novel delves into the psyche of these characters, exploring their fears, aspirations, and the dawning realization of their own narrative expendability. It's a reflection on the lives of those who are more often mere footnotes in the grand saga of space exploration. Through the lens of Red Shirts, we're invited to reconsider the role of these characters as individuals with their own stories, dreams, and a desire to survive. Scalzi's narrative cleverly questions the ethics of storytelling, where the lives of characters are often sacrificed on the altar of dramatic necessity. In doing so, Red Shirts adds a profound depth to the concept of expendability, urging us to ponder the value of every character, no matter how small their role may seem in the vast universe of Star Trek. Character agency emerges as a central theme, illustrating the complex interplay between predetermined story arcs and individual autonomy. A compelling example is Captain Jean-Luc Picard's experience in the inner light from The Next Generation. In this episode, Picard lives an entire lifetime on a long-dead planet, Catan, through a memory probe. While his physical self remains on the Enterprise, his consciousness is subjected to a narrative over which he has no control, living as a man named Cayman. Despite the profound narrative constraints, Picard, as Cayman, exercises personal agency within the confines of this imposed life, making choices that reflect his values and character. This scenario echoes the concept of fixed points in time, as explored in the universe of Doctor Who, where certain events are immutable, shaping the narrative framework. However, the manner in which these events are approached and the decision made in their periphery remain fluid, allowing characters to exert influence within a larger, unchangeable structure. Contrast this with Captain Benjamin Sisko in Deep Space Nine, particularly during episodes like Favor the Bold, where he devises a daring plan to retake Deep Space Nine. The narrative establishes a fixed point. Sisko must come up with a battle strategy. 
However, the specifics of this plan and its execution are left to Cisco's creativity and leadership, showcasing a significant degree of agency. Through these examples, Star Trek illustrates the delicate balance between narrative determinism and character-driven storytelling. While certain plot points may serve as fixed beacons, the journey to these points is rich with potential for character expression and autonomy, reflecting the nuanced nature of storytelling in the Star Trek universe. This delicate balance between narrative constraints and character agency highlights the complexity of storytelling in Star Trek. It mirrors the themes explored in Red Shirts, where characters grapple with the realization of their roles within a larger narrative, yet strive to assert their individuality and influence their destinies. Let's consider the intriguing possibility of Red Shirt's narrative physics applying to the beloved crews of the Star Trek universe. This thought experiment invites us to peer behind the curtain, imagining the off-camera moments that might unfold if our Starfleet heroes were subject to the same metafictional forces encountered by the crew of the Intrepid. Imagine for the moment, the Enterprise-D is equipped with a device akin to the black box from Red Shirts, a miraculous piece of technology capable of conjuring solutions to the most dire predicaments at the 11th hour. How would this shape the day-to-day -day operations and the ethos of problem-solving aboard the flagship of the Federation? In this scenario, the crew's approach to challenges might shift dramatically. The main cast may be oblivious to where their answers are coming from at times, and be supplied with the correct answer by deus ex machina of the ship's computer. Further, we must take into account other abnormalities on the ship. Consider, for instance, seemingly innocuous moments that under this new lens gain a layer of underlying tension and complexity. Take the episode Liaisons, where Ambassador Loquel is assigned to Deanna Troy, displays an insatiable appetite, not just for food, but for experiences aboard the Enterprise. A seemingly whimsical moment unfolds when he invites a child to join him for ice cream, an act that on the surface appears benign and even charming. Yet if we apply the Red Shirt's narrative rules to this scenario, the child's mother's reaction in is cast in a starkly different light. No longer is this just a simple invitation to indulge in a sweet treat. It becomes a moment fraught with potential narrative significance. From the mother's perspective, the sudden involvement of her child in the day's events might be terrifying. She could be internally pleading with the unseen forces of the narrative, hoping that this interaction is truly as innocent as it appears, and not a precursor to her child becoming an unwitting participant in a more significant plotline. This reimagining of scenes adds a profound depth to our understanding of character motivations and interactions. Every decision, no matter how small, could carry the weight of narrative consequence, transforming mundane moments into scenes charged with potential significance. It challenges us to consider the unseen pressures and considerations characters might face, knowing that any action could ripple out to affect the story's trajectory. Such a perspective enriches our engagement with the Star Trek universe, encouraging us to look beyond the surface and ponder the complexities of living within a narrative where the line between background and foreground, between minor and major plot points, is ever fluid and fraught with uncertainty. Yet the true essence of Star Trek lies not in the problems faced, but in how the characters navigate these trials, reflecting their values, ingenuity, and humanity. Even with a black box at their disposal, the moral dilemmas, the ethical debates, and the personal growth that define the series would remain untouched. The device might offer a way out, but the journey to that solution, fraught with personal and collective challenges, would still be where the heart of the story beats. This speculative lens allows us to ponder the behind-the-scenes moments of camaraderie, doubt, and reflection among the crew. After the credits roll and the immediate threat is neutralized, how do our characters reconcile their near escapes and their role within this tapestry? These unseen moments, rich with potential for character development and introspection, underscore the depth and resilience of the Starfleet crews we've come to admire. Through this exploration, we gain not only a deeper appreciation for the narrative craftsmanship of Star Trek, but also a renewed admiration for the characters who navigate its complex universe, reminding us that it is their journey, not just the destination, that captivates our imaginations and endures in our hearts. As we conclude our voyage through the Star Trek universe, viewed through the insightful prism of John Scalzi's red shirts, We've navigated the realms of expendability, character agency, and the intricate dance between narrative determinism and the individual autonomy. This journey has not only offered us a deeper understanding of the beloved Star Trek series, but also challenged us to ponder the mechanics of storytelling itself. Red Shirt serves as a compelling mirror, reflecting the complexities and quirks of narrative construction within the expansive Star Trek saga. It invites us to question the fate of those characters who tread the fine line between scripted destiny and personal choice, 
Reflecting on Red Shirts, I'm struck by its profound ability to blend satire with sincere homage, offering a nuanced commentary on the genre that has captivated countless hearts and minds. It prompts us to consider the unseen layers of the stories we cherish, to appreciate the depth of even the most seemingly inconsequential character, and to celebrate the resilience and ingenuity of those who navigate the stars, whether they wear red shirts or not. I'm compelled to offer my personal accolade to John Scalzi's masterful work. This novel, while not directly set within the Star Trek universe, delves into a level of meta-narrative richness that is both rare and deeply resonant with the themes we hold dear in the realm of science fiction and beyond. Red Shirts is a profound commentary on the art of storytelling, the value of every character within the narrative, and the unpredictable nature of existence, whether scripted or not. For its clever narrative, its heartfelt homage to the genre, and its insightful exploration of stories behind the stories, I award Red Shirts 8 out of 10 deltas. Red Shirts earns its place among the stars for offering a depth of narrative introspection seldom encountered. Now, I invite you, my fellow spacefarers, to share your own insights and reflections on Red Shirts and its interplay with the Star Trek universe. How do you perceive the themes of narrative agency and character autonomy within the stories you cherish? Do any scenes stand out to you that would be different when considered through the lens of Red Shirts? Join the conversation below and let's continue this fascinating dialogue. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the cosmos of storytelling. Until our paths cross again, live long and prosper.